Well, today I spoke with one of the team members from JPL about the role they will play in this asteroid strike project. When you hit a, something like that with a high speed, it, it changes the orbit of that asteroid just a little bit. But that little bit, if you hit it early enough, is just enough to push it off away from a course that's going to impact the Earth. So that's a, what's called a kinetic impactor technique to, to deflect a potentially hazardous asteroid. So we want to test this capability. And so the way we're going to test this on this mission is that we've identified a small asteroid called Didymos, which happens to have a small moon uh, called Dimorphos orbiting this asteroid. And so the plan is, as a test case, is to hit this little tiny moon called Dimorphos. And that will not change the orbit of the big asteroid by itself, but it will change the orbit of this small little moon orbiting this. And what we can do from the Earth is watch this, this um, uh, moon orbiting, actually not watch the moon orbiting, but we'll see the light from the main uh, asteroid dim ever so slightly every time this asteroid passes in front of it. So by measuring that little light dip, we can see how much the orbit has changed when the spacecraft impacts it. So we've been watching it for years now, so we know what the orbital uh, period of the small little moon is. After we hit it and it changes the orbit, we can then measure the change and see how well, you know, uh, see how well we do with impacting an asteroid and changing its orbit. Well, it should be noted this asteroid is not in danger of colliding with our planet. You can watch it live tomorrow <laughs> at 4.14 p.m. on NASA television. We'll also be tracking it on air on KKL 9 and CBS 2.